Before we start, write in the comments who is your favorite opposite in volleyball. For me personally, Ivan Zaitsev was more associated with his game for the Italian national team than as a club player. What is the difference between club volleyball and volleyball of national teams? I am waiting for your options in the comments. Be sure to share your thoughts. This time, I will not artificially stretch the timing. Let's go straight to the analysis. Let's look at the technique and style of attack of Lob Civitanova and the Italian national team opposite, Ivan Zaitsev. We'll start with the approach. Ivan, despite the fact that he plays in the opposite position, quite often helps his team in the pass and he does it both in the first and in the fifth zone and, at the same time, Ivan takes a fairly large area of responsibility, but more often he tries to do it in the fifth zone. Because of his universalism, Zaitsev can confidently attack both outside and opposite positions. Even in the technique of the approach, there are differences. In the fourth zone, everything looks more familiar. A powerful approach and quick last two steps, the movement begins in advance, and everything is almost perfect. In situations where the attack comes from the second or from the first zone, the approach is getting shorter. Most often these are three steps and only sometimes four. Uses a slightly delayed start. Even starts the approach as soon as the ball comes to the setter's hands. In the case of Nishida and Mikhailov, these players start the approach much earlier. When I said that everything was almost perfect, the moment with the penultimate step caught my eye. The Italian has a fairly short one, but due to the fast two steps and physical strength, even has enough of this for a high jump. Both on one side of the court and on the other, Zaitsev's approach is quite wide. He does it a little wider in the fourth zone and in the second zone he sometimes runs straight. But mostly the opposite prefers a wide approach. So let's move on to the analysis of the work of the hands. It may seem that Zaitsev's backswing is less amplitude than that of some players from previous reviews. But before that, I had not yet had to disassemble such large players because Zaitsev has a very powerful upper body, which may give the impression of a smaller amplitude. But in general, this swing is enough. The work of the hands of the Italian is close to perfect. A very fast back swing, the same lightning fast swing of the arms back, the elbow is diverted along the shortest trajectory. Sometimes there are moments when even starts pulling his hand a little earlier, but there are many non-standard situations in the game where the basic attack technique is violated. In normal situations, Ivan does everything perfectly. Also, Zaitsev does not perform any manipulations with the elbow and pulls it out perfectly, without spending a single fraction of a second on the attack. The final stages of the attack also pass flawlessly. Everything is like a textbook. So in terms of handwork, Ivan can be a role model. If you didn't know who to look up to, then here's a great example for you. Next, we will talk about the work of the torso and find out if there will be comments on this component. Ok, I won't hold any more unnecessary intrigue, he is doing well here too. When jumping, the opposite practically does not use the slope of the body, but this cannot be attributed to errors, it is rather the specifics of the jump. The body during the jump in standard situations, as expected, is directed to the corner of the court, both when attacking from the second and from the fourth zone. This allows him to easily attack diagonally, as well as perform attacks in a linear direction, which by the way he rarely uses, but more on that later. After the jump and the arm swing, the pectoral muscles are actively stretched and during the attack, the torso is actively working. The press is also strongly turned on, which eventually gives the most powerful attacks and serves. If you noticed, even on the front line, Ivan is actively working with the press, which many opposites do not use to maintain a greater height of attack, but apparently Zaitsev already has enough of it. And it's not worth talking about attacks from the back line and even more so about the serve. He can be folded in half. From there, such a power of attacks comes from. So we have disassembled Ivan Zaitsev's technique, let's see how the Italian realizes all his technical potential in the game. It's no secret that the main advantage of the opposite is its physical power. It was for his powerful attacks and serves that fans all over the world fell in love with him. But it is slowly being won back by younger players. Yes, fans really like strong and spectacular attacks, but how does this style of play affect the effectiveness of the player? Even rarely uses tactical maneuvers, such as tips. He only makes a tip if it is very inconvenient for him to attack. 
Some rolls of 4x4 and 2x2 are also rare in matches with the Italian. Zaitsev directs most of his attacks in a diagonal direction, he tries to attack in a line only with a sufficiently wide and free corridor. So he will most often not try to push the ball into the small gap between the block and the antenna, even if a triple block grows in front of him. If you look closely at Zaitsev, you can immediately notice that he does not finish off the balls to the floor so much. Yes, he would have no equal in low holes, because if his shots save in defense, then the ball flies extremely high. But in Italy, the height of the holes allows you to leave such balls in the game. Because of such predictable maneuvers, the opposing team manages to leave the ball in the rally after Evans attack. Because as a rule, he attacks diagonally and no closer than the 6th meter. We are not talking about a perfect pass, but the ball remains in the game and there is a chance to earn a point. But this power of attacks often helps out here, because it is difficult for a defender to handle a ball sent at such a speed. At the beginning of the video I asked you, why does Zaitsev show a more confident game in the national team? The answer is quite simple. At the national team level, there is no such well-established game in defense and on the block as we see in clubs. And accordingly, there is a chance to stay on a single block more often and it is easier to break through the opponent's defensive redoubts. Plus, at the national team level a lot is decided by Surf, which even had at a crazy level in his best years. He also depends a lot on emotions, and the club does not always have the same temperamental guys as himself. This was especially noticeable during his stay at Dynamo Moscow. In general, you can talk for a long time on various topics about this character, but today it was about the attack. So I suggest we finish with this. Click on the like button and subscribe to the channel. Well, Nick was with you as usual. Love what you do and you will definitely succeed. See you soon. Bye.